What color is your parachute? 2021, your guide to a lifetime of meaningful work and career success. Richard N. Bowles and Catherine Brooks. Since Richard N. Bowles first published What Color Is Your Parachute in 1970, it has gained a reputation as one of the top 100 best nonfiction books of all time. Not to mention, it's the best-selling job hunting book in the world. What is the reason behind this book's success? First of all, it revolutionized the approach. Unlike traditional career guides, What Color Is Your Parachute helps job seekers evaluate themselves first before looking for employment. Additionally, since it's updated annually with information on the latest trends in the job market, it's always relevant for new generations of job seekers. If you're looking for a job, get ready to learn how to land efficiently and happily in the job market's fickle landscape. Understanding the Current Job Market Before getting to know the revolutionary job-seeking system that will make the process of a job easier, let's explore current trends in the world of work. The first thing you should be aware of is that the job market is prone to constant change due to rapid technological developments that affect industries and jobs. With the rise of AI and robotics, numerous jobs previously performed by people, such as cashiers, tellers, telemarketers, receptionists, and assembly line workers, have been replaced by machines, robots, and online technology. At the same time, technology does not just reduce, but it also opens the opportunity for more interesting and innovative jobs, as a Pew Research report on robotics shows. Furthermore, recent consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic have left numerous positions vacant, making the job market even more volatile. Fortunately, the rising number of work-from-home opportunities may indicate an increase in virtual workplaces. You must also bear in mind that you will likely not stay in one job for a long time. You may know that staying with the same job or at one company for many years was common in the age of your grandparents and parents. However, statistics now reveal a different situation. The average lifespan of a job is now less than five years, regardless of the worker's age. Research also reveals a rising number of part-time jobs. Currently, 17.2% of all employees in the U.S. are freelancers. This is not only because employers nowadays prefer hiring workers only on short-term projects, but also due to an increasing number of people, such as independent contractors, consultants, freelancers, contractors, who exclusively seek temporary employment. So, since the world of work is constantly evolving, you need to keep up with all the changes happening in the job search world if you want to succeed in it. In today's world, Brooks writes, the person who gets hired is not necessarily the one who can do the job the best. Rather, it's the one who knows the most about how to get hired. Keep your spirits up while looking for a job. If you're unemployed or feel disconnected from your work for a long time, you probably feel a lack of fulfillment. Don't worry too much because of it. Unemployment often takes a toll on people's happiness. One study conducted on 6,000 job hunters found that the longer someone is jobless, the more their life satisfaction decreases, while their levels of anxiety and sadness rise. While looking for another job, you must ensure that the job hunting process, however challenging, does not dishearten you. Therefore, you must find ways to promote your well-being, and Bowles says there are several ways to do that. 1. Sleep well. Getting adequate sleep can decrease depression and turn us into happier and more upbeat people. 2. Keep yourself fit and healthy. Regular exercise and eating healthy food can substantially improve your mood. 3. Treat yourself kindly. Don't be harsh to yourself in moments of sadness or anxiety. Along with self-esteem and confidence, self-compassion factor in a successful job search. 4. Believe that your behavior matters. Your actions can change your mindset. Therefore, to overcome the feeling of helplessness, recognize the challenges that you're facing and take action to overcome them. 5. Develop a flexible mindset. Don't despair of your situation. Remember the positive aspects of your past and learn to appreciate your present situation more. 6. Be optimistic about your future. Bowles says images inspire action, so if you envision a positive future, you're more likely to move toward it. 7. Set meaningful goals. Think of the steps you could take to improve your situation and set some goals that are relatively easy to accomplish. For example, your goal could be to read one chapter of the book, What Color Is Your Parachute, each day. Reaching these small goals will give you a sense of accomplishment and self-satisfaction. 
8. Do not procrastinate. We often resist making steps toward finding a job out of fear of rejection or failure. Think about what is distracting you from your progress and what you can do to lessen those distractions. 9. Learn something new. Explore subjects that have always interested you. Listen to podcasts, watch videos, and join free online courses. 10. Channel your negativity. Intensive exercise can be a great way to eliminate excess energy and anxiety. What issues prevent me from getting hired? Have you already had any job interviews? If you're reading this book, it could mean that their outcome was not good. Do you therefore think that you have some issues that are keeping you from getting hired? You might, for example, think that you were turned down because you did not graduate from college or because you're overweight, too young, or have been unemployed for a long time. The thing is, everyone could potentially have an issue that prevents finding employment. The authors say you must remember, you can't possibly have an issue that will keep all employers from hiring you. You can only have an issue that will keep some employers from hiring you. In other words, regardless of the issues you have or think you have, it cannot keep you from getting a job forever. There is at least one employer out there who's looking for your skills and talents. If you believe categories such as race, gender, or sexual orientation might keep you from getting hired, keep in mind that the law does not allow employers to discriminate candidates on the basis of race, color, religion, sex, including pregnancy, sexual orientation, or gender identity, national origin, age, 40 or older, disability, or genetic information, including family medical history. In case you believe you've been a victim of discrimination, consult a lawyer to see whether you have the basis to proceed with a legal case. Some job seekers think that because they've been out of work for a long time, it can be an issue. If you're one of them, prepare a story that will present your unemployment time in a positive light. Tell your potential employer what you've learned, skills you developed, or volunteer activities you did in your time off. Without being aware, employers often tend to be unfair by hiring people similar to others in the workplace. A possible way to avoid this scenario is to focus on what you can add to the work environment. Think about how you can help an employer see the benefit in hiring you with all your traits and skills. Your online resume. Gone are the days when the information on your resume was everything the employers could find out about you before meeting you. Now, thanks to the internet and social media networks, they can quickly learn many things about your lifestyle. The figures vary depending on different studies, but it is safe to say that nearly all recruiters will look at your social media presence. Furthermore, studies also say that more than 60% of them have rejected some applicants because of inappropriate social media content. Be aware that bad grammar or gross misspellings on your Facebook or LinkedIn profile might also be the reason potential employers are not considering your application. Also, expressions of racism, prejudice, strong inflammatory opinions, or anything else indicating alcohol or drug abuse could put recruiters off from contacting you. Avoiding activity on social media is not a solution, though. According to the survey Harris Poll conducted for CareerBuilder in 2018, about 47% of employers do not call people for interviews if they're not present on social media sites. So to increase the chances of getting hired, use social media sites to showcase your qualities. First of all, make a list of adjectives you believe describe you well and that are, at the same time, valuable from the employer's perspective. Some of these adjectives include professional, experienced, inventive, hardworking, disciplined, honest, trustworthy, and kind. Then go over your posts on social media platforms and erase anything that contradicts the impression you would like to leave. Post content that indicates you're a valuable potential employee. Next, work on your LinkedIn profile because it is the most important site for job seekers and employers. Use it to highlight your experience and expertise, connect with people from the industry you would like to work in, and search for available positions. You can also get skill endorsements from your former colleagues, supervisors, and others who have worked with you. Also, to increase your chances of finding a job or being contacted by recruiters, join LinkedIn groups related to your expertise and interests. Prepare for a job interview. Job interviews help you find out more about the position you applied for so that you can determine if you're still interested. Moreover, they help employers further evaluate you and decide if they want to work with you. 
For this reason, you need to learn how to behave in the interview to convince the employer to hire you. Your necessary preparation step should be learning more about the company. Search for information on the internet, and if you have a chance, try and learn some inside stories from someone who worked or is currently employed there. Also, read the job description carefully and make sure you know the latest news about the company or industry. Second, use the opportunity to tell the interviewers stories related to your previous workplace or professional behavior. Talk about your accomplished goals, how you overcame obstacles, solved problems, and include any good decisions you made. Even if you applied for a job that's not related to the one you previously had, find a story that can reflect skills that the current position requires. If you're a teacher being interviewed, to everyone who was present at the interview that day. This way, you will show good interpersonal skills, help them remember you, and correct any wrong impressions you left unintentionally. Final Notes What Color Is Your Parachute is a perfect read for anyone who's unemployed or intends to change career paths. Moreover, this groundbreaking book will make job searches significantly easier for recent graduates, as schools often do not provide career advice. Finally, since it teaches how to deal with obstacles and challenges on the life path, this book can be helpful for anyone who wants to live their lives more successfully. Hi, I'm Rhonda, and this is an exclusive audiobook video recorded for the Audiobook Master Channel. Enjoy your audiobook and have fun learning. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll get updated on our next upload. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and say your thoughts about the book we just covered. Do you want to listen to a summary or review of a book that we haven't covered in the past? Say it in the comments below or send us a message. Don't forget to check our other uploads. Enjoy listening!